Gospel of the Lord, October the 25th, 2013, Luke 12, 54, 59. The Lord said again to the crowds, When you see a cloud looming up in the west, you say at once that rain is coming, and so it does. And when the wind is from the south, you say it's going to be hot, and it is. High book writes, You know how to interpret the face of the earth and the sky. How is it? You do not know how to interpret these times. Why not judge for yourselves what is upright? For example, when you are going to court with your opponent, make an effort to settle with him on the way, or he may drag you before the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the officer have you thrown into prison. I tell you, you will not get out till you have paid the very last penny. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is teaching us to be prudent and to be honest. Honest is exactly the opposite to being a hypocrite. The Lord tells us this example that we can follow easily. In Palestine, at least back in the time of Jesus, when a cloud was looming from the west, it rained. And when the wind started blowing from the south, it got hot. We now have even our weather forecasters that monitor the clouds, that monitor the winds, the pressure, everything. And we know more or less what is going to happen. But if we know, how can we say that we cannot understand? The Lord is telling this first to the people that were around him when he was on this earth in his human presence. Those people knew the scripture, they knew the prophets and the law that talked about Jesus, but especially the prophets. They were seeing the miracles that the Lord was doing, giving sight to the blind, making the deaf able to hear, opening the mouth to the one that was mute, giving life back to the dead, throwing out demons, and forgiving sins. All that would have to be in all honesty to make them see that among them was God himself. And that's why he calls them hypocrites. But what, what how about you or me? It would be very easy for many, and in fact many of us Catholics, think that just because we have been baptized we're going to be saved, and it doesn't matter if we sin. As a matter of fact, in many of us, downrooted in our hearts, are those terrible words of Luther, Peca fortiter, sed crede fortius, which means, sin strong, but have faith stronger, but believe stronger. And you will be saved. Of course not. It's not a thing on your part to do the faith. Faith is a, is a gift from God. You take care of that. But you take care of the gift of God regarding faith, following the steps of Christ, which means being a good person. It is, in the end, how you live every day of your life how do you increase or decrease your faith. Also, many times we miss the mark with the signs of the times. A strong illness, a crucial moment, an accident, or getting your hair white because you're getting older. It all talks to you about 
the imminent encounter with our Lord, and yet we would we would rather forget about it. We would rather diminish all the signs. How important it is that seeing the signs of the times, we judge ourselves what is upright. The Lord says, when you are going to court with your opponent, make an effort to settle with him on the way. Because he will drag you to the judge, the judge will hand you to the officer and the officer will throw you into prison and you will not get out till you have paid the very last penny. In the first place, it reminds me of one of those petitions that we make in our Holy Father. Please forgive our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us, the trespasses of others. It is an effort to forgive. It is not about justice. You, you don't have to wait for justice to be served and then tend and then forget someone who has injured you. Forgiveness is an act of freedom. It's your rendering of forgiveness without your payment on justice. And that's how you get pardoned by your Father in heaven. And if we still have rancor, and animosity against anyone, we will not. We will end up not being pardoned of our sins because we didn't pardon those who trespassed against us. But not only that. We have to be prepared for the time when we're called upon the presence of the Lord, and we have to pray, and we have to read the scripture and we have to have Holy Communion in the Eucharist and also we have to share our food, we have to share our time, we have to do good work that we might be in the right path towards heaven. So. Today the Lord is asking us to be honest, to judge rightly, to be aware where we're going, to pardon others that we might be pardoned, and reminds us to do exactly the charity, the love that He taught us. May God our Father grant us all to behave like that, at least to have the desire deep in our minds, in our hearts that from the desire the Holy Spirit may make it happen into action. See you in heaven all. See you all in heaven. God bless you, brothers.